Okay, uh, I begin. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this talk has a history. Uh, last year, the last day of work for me, it was September 30 last year, uh, French people in Paris asked me to, do, to give a provocative talk. And it was also the last day of working of the president of the association, his uh, association uh, related to uh, secret services in France. And so the question was, what is the future of cryptology? It's a big question. And there was a parallel with Titanic. So we'll see it is the story of Titanic and some three letters algorithm like RSA. Okay, so we are here in Berliner Congress Center Berlin, Germany, Earth, Milky Way, and at the moment we are in the universe one version beta. Be careful. Maybe at some stage of the talk we'll be in the universe zero. One bis, the, and so on. So think about that. Okay, so we begin, except that last remark, we are in the hacking session. Alas, it's not true, we will not hack anything today, maybe later. Uh, so we are really in science and culture. So culture about Titanic, uh, RSA, uh, factorization, history, and the future. So we begin. I would be glad to begin, but yeah, my Mac is working, that's perfect. So we'll just begin by something common. Just say that everything you will see on this presentation, everything we'll say, it's all copyrighted, we have the right for everything, we are not some bad hacker, all the name, brand, image are copyrighted, and we want to thank people who allowed us to use the material. So you have some names downstairs, and thanks to them. And thanks to Deep Ocean Expedition, indeed. We, are, we have the permission from there, and above all, Ron Rivers. Ron Rivers, of course. OK. Then I will try to present a bit who are speaking to you today. So you will see three faces. In fact, this presentation is supposed to be done by David Samid, but he's not here today, like usually. So I won't place him. So I will do my max. I get the presentation four days ago, but I think I will be able to speak with you about what he said. So we have a lot of nice things about him. We are all French speakers, so let's apologize to our English and our bad accents. Uh, I have a nice pictures with some hair. I don't have hair anymore. Okay, okay. Uh, so, not put on. And maybe I can say that Jean-Jacques can maybe introduce himself because he's better than me for uh, this. Okay, so I did a, lo a lot of things. Uh, I, I am normally retired, but I, I was teaching this week. <laughs> And uh, I was the former head of the UCI crypto group and also at Philips uh, for the same crypto research labs. And, uh, well, okay, we are ready to begin. Part one, introductions. Explanation of the title. So that's something I will speak with you about. For a lot of people, that would be strange. It will bring you back to your childhood when you were at school and speaking about history. But if you really listen to me carefully, and if you keep in mind what we are speaking about, when I will speak about Titanic, you will get the message. In case you don't get it, our professor will explain you better. It's going a bit fast uh, now. Uh, one remark, don't, don't, don't worry too much about uh, the world text. We, the, there are too, much, too many slides, too much a text, so we will skip. A... All right. Uh, we're just speaking about Titanic. Why Titanic? First, Titanic, it's everybody knows about Titanic. It's one of the ten most known words in the world, with Coca-Cola, sex, porn, and other words that you know, all of you. 
uh, we speak about three letters algorithms. Three letters is not only RSA. For a lot of people when we're speaking about crypto, people will say RSA, but it can be AES, DES, Bloom, Bloom, Shum, SSA, and a lot of. They are all in same family, and we don't make, today we don't make some uh, preci precision on some one algorithm. We're speaking about generality. Then we're still on the same uh, slide, that's good. So, and then we'll speak about the problem. Titanic had a problem, you all know that. We kind of believe that algorithms, as we know and as we use them today, can have a problem. And that's maybe a bit the goal of this presentation, it's to open your eyes and for everybody to be aware that as people used to say, Titanic couldn't think, it did. We can have the same problem with the algorithm we use today. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's Mr. David Samit, the guy who is not here, who made the post slide. So that was some kind of humor from him, I believe. <laughs> yes. We can go to the next one. <laughs> Uh, yes. Now we're speaking about Ron Rivers. So, for people who don't know who is Ron Rivers, you can use Wikipedia. But he's one of the guys who invents RSA, one of the three guys. And he told us a few things about algorithmic, which is, I believe, interesting. He explained that factoring RSA could be easy. Could be. We don't know until now, nobody did it, but he said it could be. He said something else. He said that to go to another system, it can be easy too. That's something personally I'm not so agree. It's like people saying after the Titanic, because I'm still speaking about the Titanic that Titanic could think it's true. Everybody to survive, it was another story. It would be better if we would be prepared before. Agenda of the talk. We just did the introductions. It's done. We'll have a second part about Titanic. I will uh, have the pleasure to speak for this part. Then we'll have some, another party about crypto with conjecture difficulties. Yes. That will be our point of view about nowadays crypto. And then we'll have a last part, will be maybe, for people who still didn't get it, the mix of both. Why we use Titanic and why we can see that it's a lot of common points between these two. And of course, you will have a nice conclusion at the end. Titanic. So that's the part I will present you. So it will be historical facts. After I leave your imagination to make it going with the topic. As we can see that the Titanic, I will not say nowadays because this picture was taken 20 years ago by some Russian submarines, the first to discover the Titanic, another story. As we can see, the Titanic is not eternal. Right now, we have some bacteria eating the metal, and depending on experts, in 100 years, it will be no more Titanic. Size matter. Titanic was a big boat. I say big, it was a huge boat. We can fit inside Titanic a lot of things. Yeah. They are coming. Human. That's one yeah. small yeah. human. <laughs> you can see it here too. But we can put much more than human. Oh. One, two, three. We can put some car, some bus, or some Airbus. In fact, we can put three Airbus. It was the biggest boat 
ever at this time. Nowadays, we had Queen Mary II, which was bigger, but it's still the second biggest boat ever. For information, you don't have the image anymore, but for people who remind them, it has four chimney. The last one was just for decorations. About the fact of Titanic. The fact, as you can see, it's a lot of number and it's a lot of huge number. One more time, it was the biggest ship in the world and the most secure ship in the world. You have to know that all the best engineers worked a lot for making this ship, which was a special order, as the biggest and as the safest in the world. As in cryptology, we have RSA and others that I spoke before, sister. Titanic had some sister too. He had two sisters, the Olympic. So here you can see for the Second World War, it has this uh, war painting. Like it's, it was difficult to see how fast it, it, it was. And we have the Britannic. Both of them sunk. Britannic on a mean, and Olympic by some attack of a submarine. So it's not only Titanic, but all Titanic sisters sunk too. Then on this story, we have another thing, an iceberg. What we have to know is the iceberg was here before the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> but as patience is a virtue, iceberg was nicely waiting for the Titanic. <laughs> so for two years, iceberg was making a nice turn and slowly going down, waiting for the Titanic to come. You know the rest. Security precautions. Titanic must be the safest boat in the world. So engineers work a lot to make a lot of precautions. First, captain, we knew that it was some iceberg, took another route. He go more south. Unfortunately for him, the iceberg too. <laughs> Second, they had the best radio at this time. It means they had radio operator which can talk 600 kilometers abroad, which allowed them to, in fact, reach the mainland. Then, they had the best captain at this time. This captain, we just make the first trip with Titanic, it was his last trip. It was his last trip, that's true, but it's supposed to be his last trip too, <laughs> because he's supposed to be retired. It was an old captain, which had a lot of experience. Then, Titanic, like everything, had problems. Titanic received a lot of warning for other ships around that iceberg are around. But as Titanic was a huge boat, costing a lot of money, companies were supposed to make money too. That's how we're living. And the operator was not supposed to make all kind of communication we normally make on ship, but better to make communication for family and for rich clients. Hi, how it is on Titanic? Oh, it's good, we're coming soon. Blah, 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 blah. So it was a priority, it was to make money with the telegraph. That was one other problem. Other problem is, as you saw, Titanic has two sisters. So the crew, supposed to be on Titanic at start, wasn't the crew on Titanic when the Titanic sink because the crew was splitting between other boats. And then, a bad condition, no binicular, that's something funny, but no way to see that a big iceberg is coming because binicular was in some case and the only guy who had the key of the case was in another boat. Iceberg. Iceberg was a big iceberg too, for sure, to get the big Titanic. 30 meters high. What we can know after for the collision is 
When Titanic hit the iceberg, people don't feel it. It was not a big crash, it was not, as you can see on the movie, like everybody, like... No, it was a small shock. Uh, so, officers, of course, go to check, but for them, it was done. They eat, and it was no damage. We can see that 20 minutes later, they were under the sea. Then, mm, two, 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 two. yes, good. we can speak about number two. What's interesting too, it's the ship, the ship sank in two hours. On 2,223 people, 1,517 died. Lifeboats had only 1,178, so it means that some people die even with lifeboats. And by regulations, the law, 34 people of passengers supposed to have a lifeboat. It was not the case. Why? Because it was not very nice, very attractive to see a lot of lifeboats. It takes a lot of place on reasons than to put passengers there and to get more money. One, two, wait, no wait, question. Okay. You will wait a bit and I will answer you. <laughs> Sorry. These organizations, as we spoke before, it was not enough life jackets. People fought for life jackets. Then when the Titanic hit the iceberg, it was a bit panic when people begin to see that the ship is sinking. So, captain make an order, children and women first. People understand only children, only women. So a lot of, uh, a, a lot of small ships for saving people were kind of empty because all children and all women left, but uh, crew said it's only children and women. So problem of communications, Problem of signal, because a new signal SOS that you all know was applied since two years. As I told you, the captain and the crew were kind of old, so they used the old CQD. So a lot of other boats didn't answer or didn't get it. They get problem with radio, because they ask a lot of boats around to shut down, shut down their radio because it's, it's, made, it's made a jam for their personal transmissions, which was important to get money again. And, and, and... It's okay. That was the disorganizations. Arons, what's happened Arons? Arons, when Titanic sink, it was couple boats. It was the California, which was the nearest one. Unfortunately, California had to switch off its radio because Titanic asked, it's make jam, please switch off your radio, we have to make some passenger transmissions. So California wasn't aware of the problem of Titanic. It was, it's pity because it can save every, every, everybody. It was only 20 minutes away. We had Carpathia two hours away. We saved most of people. Then we have a lot of other boats. What's important and funny too, it's Olympic, the sister of Titanic, didn't move. When they received the message, they think that it's done, we could, we, that they couldn't do anything. Some small story about Titanic. Some glitches. Captain Smith, not the same than in uh, Matrix was the millionaire captain. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> uh, as I said, he was an old captain that everybody well known in the world. A lot of passengers was waiting for him to be captain. And we used to call, they used to call him the millionaire captain because all rich people really wanted to be on boats driving only by him. Another glitch is Titanic was delayed for six months. 
because of reparation of a sister boat. It means if Titanic will leave six months ago, iceberg will not have time to reach him, and we don't have this catastrophe as we know. Then we have other things, as the key, as I already said, and as the staff, which was split in two. We found Titanic after. You can even visit Titanic if you have a lot of money with some submarine. A lot of people think that Titanic sank intact. It's not true. Because of the pressure, Titanic split in two. The first we find Titanic was the US Navy. In fact, US Navy lose two submarines, so they sent somebody to find these two submarines, especially it was nuclear propulsion submarine. But they said to everybody, we send a boat to a submarine to look for Titanic. In fact, it was for looking for a submarine, they find submarine and they find the Titanic. If you want to know more about this submarine, you can uh, read some very nice book about the K-129, which is a Russian submarine, and you have all the story about this propulsion and everything. It's fascinating. Claim reactions. Titanic was built to not sink if four of, this com of its tie compartments was full. Unfortunately, five of them were full. And then is the domino effect. Because it begins to go down, the water begins to go to the other one, and step by step, Titanic sink. Sink your own Titanic. You can do it at home. <laughs> so you can rename your, rename your, your phone Titanic, synchronize it, and sink Titanic. Or you can buy on eBay some kit. You put it on your tubes, and it's kind of working. I tried on my shower, it was not perfect, but I saw video, it is working. <laughs> Interesting character. <laughs> we have Violet. Violet was very interesting because I think she's one survivor, but she's the most unlucky one. She gets three trips with the same company, and three times the boat sink. <laughs> the third one, a lot of people didn't want to travel with her. They were right. We have Williams. Williams is interesting too, because before going to the boat, he said, the boat will sink. Yes, he did, and he died. <laughs> and we have Astor Four, which was the richest American guy at this time. If we compare his money with Bill Gates now, he had twice more money. He died on the Titanic. And the people said, but maybe it's a rumor, that his last joke was, I ask for ice on my whiskey, but not so much. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's a true thing that we found, and we find it funny, so we share it with you. 14 years, I'm French, before Titanic, some people write a book about some ship named Titan, who was same, unsinkable, kind of as big. On, on his book, it sink and people die. And that's true that 14 years ago, Titanic did kind of the same. It's have nothing to do together, but we find it funny, so we share it with you. And then last thing about Titanic, and then you will know everything about Titanic, it's in a few days, it will be the 100th anniversary of Titanic. And if you are rich enough, you can visit it with deep ocean expeditions, which can run this, it can be two of you, and you can go to visit the Titanic. So if you listen to me enough, and if you try to put what I said and change Titanic by cryptology, maybe you can get an idea of what we're going to speak now. If you don't, we will repeat it for you. Yes. 
Thank you. So we continue with the part three about cryptography with conjoint complexity. So you see that it's related to the conference. See, see, see. Okay. <laughs> continue. Uh, well, next year is the year of Titanic. Yes, maybe, but it's also the year of Turing. And, uh, well, Turing did a lot of things, including the cryptanalysis of the Enigma. Okay. And, well, here maybe it's time to recall the Kirchhoff principle. Uh, security must be only based on the secret of the key. And it's also the so-called uh, the Shannon's maxim, the, the enemy knows the system. But what about today? We need secure hardware, we need secure primitive based on, con on conjectures, and uh, for instance, uh, strong difficult, strongly difficult factorization. So maybe we need to set a new principle. You see that not only the key we need to secure, but many things. So cryptography, cryptology is changing. Well, uh, you know a little bit RSA. Here is the algorithm. Here are the inventor, including uh, Ron Rivest. And so you know that factorization of n, or the use of uh, composite number allows to encrypt, decrypt, sign, and so on. Okay, uh, so we have in, for factorization and discrete lock in cryptography, we have a lot of names. Uh, then some names were not known a few years ago, uh, Ellis, Cox, Williamson, for instance. And uh, we know Merkel uh, with a paper rejected. And the main paper is Diffie-Hellman, New Direction of Cryptography. And in fact, maybe you don't know that uh, Rivas Shamir, not Adelman at, at MIT, was trying to prove that Diffie and Edman was were wrong. And, well, sometimes uh, it happens they invented RSA. So here the visible tip of the RSA is Diffie-Hellman and the RSA team, but, but the iceberg is maybe much bigger. So, uh, as you know, you have a lot of RSA modulus in the room, uh, everywhere, for many years, not only PGP, but and uh, is protecting a lot of money every day. So if you have factorization in your hands, maybe you will, or you want to be a billionaire, or maybe you will have a lot of trouble, a lot of new fines, and, and then so on, uh, some visits, indeed. But, let, let me remember again, factorization was an hobby, in fact. Uh, well, you have uh, Jevons in uh, 1874, so he published a challenge and asked, can the reader factorize that number? And he said, I think that is unclear that anyone except myself uh, will never know. Well, uh, you see here the, the information, and the result is uh, Lemmer, the father, was able to factorize it less than 30 years after. So a formidable challenge was coming trivial. And there was another fact. Uh, Cole was able to factorize, uh, uh, for that time, a really big uh, number during Sundays. OK. 
Okay. Uh, well, now we have a more complete timeline for RSA. Maybe you don't know that. Uh, in 1854, Babbage proposed to use large integer for encryption, and it was 100 digits. Jevons invent, uh, the same, invent, uh, invents the one-way function called induction and inverse operator. Is, he said, what if, and it is normally, encryption is easy, while decrypt, decrypt analysis is not. Multiplication is easy, while factorization is not. You see here the invention of one-way function, long time ago. Well, uh, as you know, physical public key was invented in, uh, around by Bellabs around 1944. Uh, Kennedy, the president, uh, US president, asked to invent signature, one signer, or able to verify. After that, more or less in parallel, but before, uh, Ellis Williamson Cox invent public key RSA de Fielman. Uh, Rabin invents probabilistic parent testing and signature. And Elman, thanks to DES, invent asymmetric cryptography. <laughs> At the top door, Diffie adds the protection of privacy, and Merkel applies it to key, key distribution. And again, Knut, one know from Stanford, is coming back to the last century and proposed to use easy multiplication versus factorization of large integer for the design of public key. Jill then proposed to use this catalog. So you see the story of RSA is not totally linear, it's a long time. And Rivers and Chamier try to prove there is not a system, but as I said, invent RSA and Adaman adds proof from the number theory. Okay, so uh, in fact, if you are thinking about factorization, at the moment, there are very limited progress on the theory. There are a lot of optimization, and the question is, are we in the right direction? Is it possible or not to drastically accelerate what we know by improve, for instance, the polynomial selection and so on? And more important, maybe, are the criteria of generation for the primes, the RSA primes, still valid today? I'm not sure. Well, so we are coming for a, a very important point, the so-called rivest law. It is foolish to predict when an integer of any particular size may be factorized. So it's, uh, Ron Rivest is saying, today we are maybe very secure, and tomorrow, tomorrow, maybe not. We don't know. And so the question is, well, are, are we ready? Like the Titanic was ready or not? And uh, we have prediction. For instance, at the International Workshop on Post-Quantum Crypto in Leuven uh, five years ago, Jacques Stan said, predicted, in fact, the end of the race. Not me, Jack Stem. And the date is here. Uh, more recently, uh, based on linear extrapolation on the progress of uh, GNFS, uh, Paul Leland said that RSA 124 will be factorized on that date with the precise, the precise, that precision. <laughs> yes, why, why, well, okay, so. So you see that people are saying, we are secure you uh, for the next 20 uh, or, uh, yes, uh, 25 years. But Rivers say, 24. it's foolish to predict. But people, people are doing that. And more, everybody is acting like the predictions 
are correct. We are thinking about that. So, so you, you understand now the, the direction of the talk. Are we ready to implement the reversed law? I mean, taken it into account. Not saying yes, it's a law, no. And we are not ready, in fact. Uh, oh, no, reversed, but uh, 20 years ago, did also some predictions. So you see that there were uh, the law uh, is in bit. The law uh, level of number, secure number for the years, and year average I, and what is done? You see that in one t t uh, 2000, in 2000, in fact, you can kill the first column for the prediction of reverse. Uh, five years after, you can kill nearly the second column. Oh, <laughs> it's coming to, the game is coming to be very dangerous. And here, here we are, it's not so, 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 so good, we are not killing the last one, but we, we don't know. Now, Bruchner did also prediction. Uh, it was very simple uh, here. So you see, uh, you add here 10 years, and here you multiply the size by two. And in fact, this table is in use today by some people, government, and so on. Why? I don't know. Uh, here, if you go to the keylines.com, it's not prediction there, it's what you need to use if you use the Lenstra uh, laws or the result from EQIP2 or from the NIST of the FNESA, when I say of, uh, uh, some uh, internet uh, RFC and so on, and you see that normally for the next year, you need to use for RSA something like 2,000 bits. The smallest number is 1,120. Uh, 1, uh, so my question is to the audience, who is using a larger key for PGP? So, the other ones you need to change. <laughs> okay, but okay, continue. No, there is a curious collision between uh, the Titanic and number theory. Uh, there was a publication here by Samuel Yates, they finding Titanic prime to be the number with at least 100 digits. And here you see there's, there is something not totally correct. It, uh, Samuel means here very large prime, not prime like the Titanic chip. Dangerous to do that. So uh, you see that the product of two Titanic primes it's at least at, is at least uh, six uh, thousand and more bits, and number for cryptography are today in use in some uh, specific application. There are some PGP keys like this. Telecom industry is using that, and so uh, version of SSL, and so the product of two Titanic RSA primes are. Titanic RSA modulus. Very dangerous expression. <laughs> okay, so what if? And if means integer factorization, and if something is going to be wrong. So here, 
we continue to use some citation from the Titanic. So the captain, so you, see, you remember the captain Smith about uh, one of the three chips. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a chip to founder. I cannot conceive of any vital disaster, up disaster happening to this vessel, but the modern ship building has gone beyond that. It was before the story you know. Well, another quote from a Titanic passenger to say a ship was in unsinkable was flying in the face of God. But some employee at the launch of Titanic, not even God itself could sink this ship. Very dangerous to say that. So you are exciting the gods. Okay, so you know, we have the same uh, citation about factoring. Uh, Richard Geis uh, wrote, I shall be surprised if something, uh, if anyone regularly factors number of that size during the present century. Oh, very dangerous to say that. But it, it, there is, the crazy situation is this one from the RSA team in Scientific American. The RSA 129, so it's 426 bits, will require four quadrillions year to factorize. It's a citation, it's not a joke. Uh, I ask to run reverse why they put that crazy number. My first answer, because we are we are not thinking to, to work in parallel. But okay, it's, the, it's not the point. And we did uh, an error in the computation. Uh, this number was factorized 70 years after. Now, th there is a problem because you know that maybe uh, cryptography, RSA, is good, but not that much, uh, not too much. We have to be careful. But no, we, we need maybe to, to come back to reality. And here we have a citation for Toy Story. Uh, the meaning is, if your wife say something during, uh, to, to everybody during your life, it's not easy to say, yes, I was wrong. It's a long citation from the story for, for uh, saying that. And it is the point, I think. You can find it back on Wikipedia. Okay, there is another problem. is the black swan effect. Um, here a lot in, in Australia, uh, and in fact, um, white, white swan were, were very well known in Europe, no black, so people say we don't see black uh, swan, so it, 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 the people did, did not believe that it's possible until it was in Australia, somebody found it. So it's maybe the same story. Uh, well, it's the same story for IBM chairman uh, predicting that five computers in the world w will be enough. And so we are here in the black swan uh, reason. It, it, events are to predict. Think about the river slow big impact on the society, thing if you are, if you are say, broken. And maybe after that we'll, see, we'll say, if it is happening, oh, uh, it was normal. Uh, some people say that, well, okay. And so maybe we, uh, the talk is also, maybe we have to be ready in case of uh, there is another view of that, is the so-called elephant hiding in a phone booth. Uh, people, many people are working, 
but they don't know maybe if they found it or no. Uh, sometimes people miss something very important. Uh, an example well known is the can opener was invited 50 years after the first can. And uh, Tasman discovered uh, many uh, Iceland, but he missed uh, Australia. So the story, the question is, is the story the same for all the, the things we know about for cryptography? And there, there will be maybe a uh, so few answer. Daniel, maybe we are not happy, or saying it's not, there are, uh, it's possible to stop depression, acceptance. So you see uh, all the, rea if it is happening here, you see all the rea possible uh, reaction. Uh, this cannot be true. Well, why? Who is to blame? Uh, maybe there is a way to stop it. Why bother? It will be okay. Uh, it is not the, the end of the world, and we, the world, and we need to find new solutions. Let's learn from, from errors. Okay, so coming back to Titanic, and factorization. Uh, there were few events before Titanic with the same story. And uh, people were not thinking a lot about that. And so uh, they were not anticipation. They say, oh, it's uh, one event. Uh, don't worry uh, for the next one. And it's not exactly what we are seeing here. We, we risk managers should, should, should uh, have plans and schemes and should be ready. And for instance, speaking again about the Titanic, maybe uh, people uh, were thinking at the time that the probability of a collision was really low. Here is a map of ship collision with iceberg. So you see, it's a lot. Uh, no, so there will be a catastrophic failure if uh, algebra uh, put uh, some uh, answer we don't uh, care about at the, uh, at the moment. So maybe it's possible also that uh, some group, not so nice, the name is maybe algebra, to, be, to use uh, mathematics as a weapon or, or a cyber weapon. So, think about that. So, be careful under your research with care. No, is it only the talk? Think about that. There are a book about that. They start this from Harry Jules, working for the RSA company. And the story is uh, some cult knows how to factorize integer and keeps the secret. Oh, okay, it's a book. Uh, think about the sneakers. Uh, well, okay, okay a, team, a team of six people gets their own factorization device. And what to do with that? Well, and it is the beginning of many problems. And there are also, it was an, on April 1st, a paper factoring is polynomial in time. It's a fake one, but it was, work, it was working. It was like publishing in electronic letters. And I know many people that days. Uh, 15 years ago, thinking that it was true. Uh, okay, so why well, 15 years ago, a joke, a first April was working. Here we are not the first April, we are not joking. Maybe it's working better. Okay, so uh, maybe also, maybe some, some people are able to factorize 
keeping the secret. You, you, you don't know the Coca-Cola recipe normally, the Google search algorithm, and so on. We say, share everything, but in fact, uh, we don't know exactly, we don't know exactly the theory, we don't know the limit, and, and so on. Uh, so maybe uh, the solution is not published, maybe there is no solution, but, and uh, maybe it's not enough to change or extend the keys, maybe it's uh, uh, a big change to do, to migrate to another system, maybe uh, the name will be re uh, really secure algorithm. Oh no, it's not, that, it's not that good, RSA. Okay, so we, part five, but the time, uh, five minutes, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, science, science fiction. Uh, so Titanic was thinking that they, in number theory, we don't know. Think about the reaction. Uh, chain reaction, so if you solve uh, something, uh, integer factorization, maybe we would solve uh, other things, so maybe the replacement solution is not enough, and maybe a uh, good resolution method, maybe the, there will be an impact in other algorithms, stream safer, hash function, I don't know. So uh, what to do? Uh, think about the Titanic disorganization, but think if you factorize, uh, what we will have, people will uh, revoke, discard the certificate. There will be massive recall, class action, well, everything, legal action, and what, what about the, the remedy? We don't know, we don't know the cost, we don't know if there are uh, studies, we don't know. Okay, so there were three words. The name is DL, EF, and CC. There were an algorithm attack, two algorithms, structural weakness, and not enough replacement solution. So, Maybe we, uh, we are in that situation. Maybe in the future. We have a lot of security precautions at, at the moment. Uh, prime generation, prime testing, prime generation, uh, and, and so on. But if factorization is fast, all the security precautions we are using are for the past, it's done. So, no people think about seeing your own Titanic. People are doing that also sometimes, they are uh, doing that at home. Uh, you can use uh, some grid or clues, uh, FPGA, and so on. Maybe there are algorithmic uh, or other improvements. So maybe it's not so crazy to think that somebody in uh, his basement are maybe doing that. We don't know. So we need to, be, to take appropriate measure of security here a lot. I don't have time to, to say uh, that, but if you are, if we are uh, enough clever to solve a hard problem, maybe we are also able to come back to security. Uh, I think that I will uh, skip uh, this one. It's all to prove that you have a factorization algorithm, but without giving uh, the algorithm. No, the next step. Uh, here we are proposing uh, a new uh, workshop. The name is, at the moment, Catacrypt. And it is a dedicated workshop uh, catastrophic, related to catastrophic events for when cryptography is used and their possible recoveries. 
for the keys, for the hardware, for the protocol, for the uh, intellectual property, uh, thing about DRM and pay TV, thing about PKI, uh, uh, the recent story of DG Notar, and also uh, thing about the paper here in, in few, one hour, about sovereign keys. We need that. There are sometimes some indication. Uh, the first workshop will take place next year. Maybe not the day of the Titanic having uh, one century. So look for the future call of paper. The first pointer, there will be an, another one. Is uh, to the, At the moment, there is nothing there. It's uh, demultiply.com. There are many big companies having put interest about that. Uh, I cannot give you uh, at the moment the names. If you are interested, say to, to us, we will see uh, how to handle that. And thank you for your attention.